Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday said, India has become the fifth largest economy in the world. This process is not ordinary and we need to maintain this enthusiasm. He said this while addressing an event in Gujarat virtually. India overtook United Kingdom and is now behind the United States, China, Japan and Germany. The BJP has accused Aam Aadmi Party of hurting Hindu sentiments by banning firecrackers in Delhi ahead of Diwali and Dashera festivals. This decision has been taken to appease Muslims in Gujarat. This is not an issue related to pollution. It is an attempt to stop Hindu festivals, BJP leader Kapil Mishra said. People will not obey such an unscientific order, he added. Congress leader P. Chidambaram said, Bharat Jodo Yatra is the country's second freedom struggle and it will go on till divisive forces are defeated. I wish to tell those criticizing Bharat Joro Yatra that you had no role in India's freedom struggle during which Mahatma Gandhi gave the slogan, Do or Die. Chidambaram said, Road Transport and Highways Minister Nitin Gadkari on Thursday said his ministry can help address the water woes in India. Highway construction requires soil which can be obtained in a manner that new water bodies can be formed, Gadkari said. There is no dearth of water but water management is an issue. We can use highways for building lakes, he added. The Delhi Police Crime Branch has arrested seven people, including an IIM dropout and a fashion designer for allegedly smuggling drugs with the help of the dark net, police said today. In three different operations, the police seized over 28 bottling papers of LSD, 12.6 gram of MDMA and 84 gram of curated marijuana and 220 grams of hashish. Parts of Pakistan look like a sea, Pakistani Prime Minister Sherbaz Sharif said as the death toll from devastating floods in the country rose to 1,343. We will need trillions of rupees to cope with this calamity, he added. As many as 33 million of Pakistan's 220 million population have been affected by the disaster blamed on climate change. A company founded by Angelina Jolie filed a case against Brad Pitt for $250 million over the couple's French winery that they bought together. In July, a judge said Brad and his partners must turn over documents to Angelina's team, making her win the case. The new lawsuit claims that Brad launched a campaign to seize control of the winery. <laughs> 